Hey, teacher, good evening. How are you? Hello, good evening. How are you? I'm doing good. Sorry that um, yesterday I couldn't uh, stay in the class at say, at 100% because I had to to do some uh, things related with, with my job. No, don't worry. I totally understand. But I will stay uh, this night, not uh, at the same that last night. I, I hope that I could be participating. Definitely. I hope that as well. Hey everybody, welcome to the class. It's a pleasure to be with you tonight, this Tuesday. So, um, first thing we will do is to check about the platform. And uh, yeah, let's check about the exercise from yesterday. Um, remember, for first of all, that you need to be sure that the symbol here is the correct one. Also, I have that there is a space here it shouldn't be a space but in case in case the exercise is not correct for you and you are sure that you are doing it this way you can give it a shot like that 
So here there is like a space and I guess all the questions. Okay, uh, yeah, I know all of them. So yeah, let's be careful on that one uh, and uh, don't leave a space after that one. So it's going I, to I, I was trying to do that exercise and I, I try in many ways and I, I don't know. The space between the... There. Okay. Yeah, it shouldn't be a space here, but there is. So this kind of exercises that you need to type into the box, sometimes that happens. Sometimes if you have, I mean, you have to be exactly the way that uh, the platform is requesting, right? So the person that created this part probably left the space and that's why it's like this. So probably the grammar is fine. Just be, uh, be careful about the apostrophe here and the space, the space here is important in all the questions. All the questions are necessary for that one, that one. So if you had that incorrect, this is the solution, okay? Just try with a space uh, before the question mark and it shouldn't be any problem. Okay, and uh, this is the class of tonight. So let's see how it goes. By now, we're going to check about the attendance. Let me just check into that one. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present teacher. Good. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Good. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Good. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Good. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present teacher. Good. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Good. Juan Miguel Bran Mejía. Present teacher. Good. Luis Albert Steve Bonilla Canales. Roxana Yvette Asensio de Mejía. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Good. Wendy Patricia Morina Duarte. Okay, very good. We are going to start with a little video and then we're going to check. You are going to uh, comment about that one, provide your feedback, tell me what you understood, what was interesting about the video. Okay, so here we go. Developing the financial projections for your business may seem like a daunting task. After all, how can you know what type of revenue and costs your business will encounter in its first year of operation, let alone the first five years? Putting the projections in I have a question for you. Are you able to listen to the video? Yes, yes, yes teacher. Okay, okay, perfect. Let's go. In the plan and presenting it to funders also seems so final, as if saying you promise stand by these numbers. How can this be the case when you feel extremely uncertain about the projections? Today, in this video, we are going to share 10 tips on how to build a financial projection for your business. Number one, pricing. Pricing is a science in its own right. Too high prices deter customers and too low prices decrease the profitability of the business. Pricing should therefore be competitive. Gross margins of a business are the direct result of pricing. Gross profits are necessary to cover the financial obligations of a company and to allow for growth. Profitability of different products and services need to be analyzed and they should only be kept as part of the offering if they provide sufficient margins or if they are of strategic importance. Number 2. Future Project Costs It is also wise that future project costs are included in the calculation. 
This has something to do with the costs that will be incurred should the projects materialize. The downside of this is that some people may want to hinder the progress of the project once they see the associated costs. It should be well defined what revenue the project would bring so this does not happen. Number 3. Creation of Expenses Budget There is always a need to understand how much it is going to cost you for actually making the sales you have forecasted. It is recommended to differentiate between fixed costs, like rent and payroll, and variable costs, like most advertising and promotional expenses. Lower fixed costs means lesser risks. There must be a proper estimation of interests and taxes. It is suggested to multiply estimated profits times your best guess tax percentage rate to estimate taxes, and then multiply your estimated debts balance times and estimated interest rate to estimate interest. Fees related to licenses, permits, and equipment should be included in the short-term projections. Number 4. Business Concept the business concept is a crucial phase of the project that spans a period from the idea for the venture until an initial decision to go ahead and encompass a feasibility study. The idea owner is likely to be the entrepreneur who has an idea for a business that could be a passion, an income opportunity, filling a need, fixing a problem, among other drivers for the business. Number 5. Creating More Reasonable Projections you can move toward creating more reasonable projections by basing your numbers in documented research. Costs are often much easier to research than revenues. You can make calls, do online research, and speak to others in the industry about both the startup costs and operating costs of a business. Number 6. Profit and Loss Projection Every year prior to the end of your financial year, you should be putting together a profit and loss projection of what you want your business to be doing. This provides you with important what-if scenario planning. It's always better to know whether something is going to financially work before you embark on it. Number 7. Financial Statements Prepare a cash flow statement showing inflows and outflows of cash from month to month during the first year. Prepare a balance sheet reflecting the assets and liabilities of the project. Prepare an income statement showing the income, expense, and profitability of the project. A cash flow statement also reflects the flow of cash in and out of a business, thus indicating its liquidity. It shows how changes in balance sheet accounts and income affect cash and cash equivalents. Essentially, it breaks the analysis down to operating, investing, and financing activities. Number 8. Pending Costs and Revenues The financial report should also contain pending costs or debts that are supposed to be paid in the given periods. Many companies have debts that they need to pay monthly, and these numbers should be factored in a financial report to ensure accuracy. However, the total cost per annum should not be compounded. This means if the review for financial revenue is only for three months, the assets and liabilities should only include what is present and what is due for three months. Number 9. Examine your finished financial model in detail. It is not sufficient to review the model to see if it looks correct. You must test it by proofreading it carefully and checking all the spreadsheet cell references and formulas. And number 10. Projected financial statement. The pro forma financial statements will include estimated future sales, expenses, and profits. These items need to be broken down in order to be meaningful. The sales estimates should state which salesperson, which department, or which region will generate the sales. The estimated expenses must be broken down into general and administrative, operating expenses, depreciation, and taxes. Financial projections are a key part of your business and must hold water. They include pro forma profit and loss or income statements, cash flow statements, and balance sheet. Base your projections on realistic assumptions and state what they are. Do not overestimate revenues or underestimate costs. Be able to show profitability, either from day one or within a reasonable time frame. For a business that is already up and running, include actual financial statements for the recent past as well as future projections. If your business has not been profitable, explain why or how you expect to be profitable in future. 
If you found this video helpful, then do like, share, and subscribe our Young Entrepreneurs Forum channel to get future videos. Okay, what did you get from the video? There is a, an important information. Is a, something of the same information, but there are new information, and, I, and it is important the the methodology of the video that uh, made that you can learn most. That uh, only hearing because the process of writing and all of that catch your attention. And uh, it is important. I I see. Uh, we need to do. We need to see this video or twice or three times because it's, it's important to to know what I what are we trying to do. All of the information is very important. Okay, very good. So yeah, definitely. Uh, I believe that we spoke about that one in the past. But sometimes we have great ideas. But the hard part is this one, right? To to run a business, to uh, analyze what's going to happen in the future, to invest the money, to risk, right? So maybe you lose all that money. I mean, it's, it's not easy, right? So it, it requires a lot of information. You need to study a lot of things. You need to analyze a lot of things. And you have to have the money to invest. So that represents this part. So... Very good. Any other comment on the video? Okay. So let's maybe, move on. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Can maybe uh, about with uh, the second part, I think, or the second uh the second stage, maybe, of the video. Just let me check some. That is related with uh, a budget, yeah. Uh, are you listening to me? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. A budget, um, obviously, because, okay, you can... Uh, have many ideas, yeah. Uh, have a business concept, uh, projections. Uh, for example, uh, you can uh, estimate the price, the pricing for the for the things that you will sell or the goods or, or services, yeah. But if you don't have a budget, obviously, uh, he. Uh, the video talks about uh, the expenses, yeah. Obviously, at the beginning or when you start a project, all of the things are related with expenses, yeah. But uh, your your budget or maybe your idea has or must have a budget uh, that could support all of the scenarios, yeah? Because uh, you can be so, um, they, they, they use a word there that, okay, the budgets have to be realistic, yeah? You can be very, very optimistic, yeah, but Obviously, you have, for example, days that you can sell many things and days that you can sell anything, yeah. And uh, this kind of budget could support or most uh, support all of these things, yeah. Uh, obviously, uh, you have to save money from the days that you sell more, yeah, to support the other days, yeah. But in 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 my in my mind, I think that the budget 
when you have your plan, yeah, and you have a business idea running, your budget is a must, yeah, mm -hmm. because you support there or you have the numbers there, yeah. Uh, the numbers are exact, exactly, and David could be could uh, tell us better this, yeah. If you don't have the numbers to support your business, you don't have any business. Yeah, uh, or something like this. Yeah, uh, you must uh, look for these incomes, yeah, no matter what kind of incomes uh, they are. For example, uh, an external person that supports your business, uh, giving you the, the amount of money monthly or whatever, or uh, you have the capital, yeah, or the initial capital to, to, to begin or to start to run your business, yeah, but for me, there is a must, uh, the most important thing, the budget that supports your business or your idea. If you don't have budget, you don't have ideas to run or business to run. Yeah. Okay, very good. So yeah, you are very right. I mean, budget, some people might think that it's not important. And actually it's, it's very important, right? Because you need to, to forecast. That word is very, very important because when you forecast something, anything, you need to be realistic. Sometimes when we run a business, we are very optimistic. We say, we are going to launch this and it's going to be a lot of people there. And but yeah, well, you say something. I mean, sometimes you don't say anything or you say just a few things and you need to be ready. And of course, you also need to, to create a plan in case that happens, right? So what am I going to do if that happens? So I need to change the strategy. I need to do to do something about it. So it's a very important there. Okay, so we are gonna start talking about then uh, about budgeting. Okay, so let's read a little bit about that. Let's go and uh, William, can you please read the first slide? Budgeting is the process of creating a plan to spend your money. This spending plan is called a budget. Creating this spending plan allows you to determine in advance whether you will have enough money to do the things you need to do or would like to do. What is budgeting? It is an important planning and forecasting process to help you manage your money by balancing your expenses with your income. Budgeting is simple balancing your expenses with your income. If they don't balance and you spend more than you make, you will have a problem. Many people don't realize that they spend more than they earn and slowly sink deeper into debt every year. If you don't have enough money to do everything you would like to do, then you can use this planning process to prioritize. prioritize your spending and focus your money on the things that are most important to you. Good. What did you get from this? Uh, planning. Uh, uh, in general is but getting um okay is a process of creating a plan to spend your money and in this case you can see if you have enough money to do or to buy whatever you want and this and you can realize if you are spending more money than you are getting than the uh, what are you earn? Okay, very good. So yeah, there are a few words here that are very important, right? So planning definitely 
is one of those. So you plan ahead. You, uh, for you to plan, of course, you need to research, right? You need to investigate. You need to analyze the competency, the market, the country, the city where you are, um, many things. Okay. All right. So, and then forecasting is another, another important word, right? So you need to predict that is not easy, right? Of course, uh, if you have some data or if you find some data or if your business, uh, you run the business for two, three years, it's a little bit easier. But whenever you are in a startup company, that is difficult, right? Because it's hard. Uh, yeah, it's, it's difficult, definitely. And uh, balance. Well, I believe, I really like that word, to be honest with you. I believe that that is a, a word that is important not only for the company, but in your life. Balance. Not too much, not too little. Yeah. Balance is a very important thing. Okay? If we don't do that, I, I believe this is something that happens to a lot of people in El Salvador, right? Uh, we don't create a budget yeah. and then uh, you spend money. I mean, you have money and you spend it, but then you realize that you need to pay for some other things and you don't have the money and then you get a loan and then you have the de uh, debts. And I mean, every year, I mean, there are some people that they get a credit to pay another credit, right? Oh yeah. my goodness. That's, that's crazy. That's that's not good at all. So budget is a very important thing. It's very, very important. Good, perfect. Let's move on then. So why is this so important, uh, David? Okay. Since budgeting allows you to create a spending plan for your money, it ensures that you will always have enough money for the things you need and the things that are important to you. Following a budget or a spending plan will also keep, keep you out of debt or help you work your way out of debt if you are currently in debt. <laughs> okay, what do you think about that one? What is okay, your it is so, so important. I, in the past, uh, many, many years ago, I worked for, for a guy that uh, is sometimes in the beginning of the year or in the closing the year, they meeting with all of the personnel. And uh, he says, I, I want to present you the boss. <laughs> the boss, <laughs> what is the boss? Is the, the budget. <laughs> the budget is the boss, you can do nothing out of the budget, it, 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 there is a boss. I, I am only a, a, an image, but the boss is the budget, and that is important. You can uh, control uh, things that maybe we don't realize that they're important, like paper, like photocopies, like all of the scene that uh, can uh, uh, consume, I don't know if consume is correct, lower resources if we don't take care of that. And for the reason it's important to, to work with the budget. Okay, so definitely, I mean, the, uh, the story that you present actually is true. I mean, uh, we make decisions based on the budget, made on the plans, main, uh, there are objectives that we want to achieve, but it, it's not it's not going to be good if we just spend the resources and we don't have the money to achieve those objectives. Uh, and this, I mean, yeah, we are we were speaking about Salvadoran people that this happened to everybody at some point in life. But I mean, that happens to large company. Have you seen that some crisis sometimes around the world? Uh, happened because of that because people they didn't follow this they didn't have a budget they just spend money and that's it so a lot of large companies they went to bankruptcy because of that because they didn't follow the basics right so this is basic 
And uh, of course, at the end, is going to be a, a huge impact. Okay, next one is going to be for Juan Miguel Brand. Okay. Once you create your first budget, begin to use it and get a good feel for how it can keep your finances on track. You may want to map out your spending plan or budget for six months to a year down the road. By doing this, you can easily forecast which months your finances may be tight and which ones you will have extra money. You can then look for ways to even out the highs and lows in your finances so that things can be more manage, man, manageable and pleasant. Okay, what did you get from this? Mm. Okay, this is like, like we are talking about this uh, thing. The budget is one of the most important or the most important thing. Because if, if you don't have any budget, you don't have any business to run. So once that you create, at least on your mind, yeah, your fixed budget, you can not only think, yeah, but also write, write down by numbers what are you doing with your money, yeah, in order to track it, yeah. Okay, this week I was, or, or we were to buy some raw material, yeah, and that lasts for the month, yeah. And I spent, uh, for example, $300, yeah. yeah. The next month, if you, if you are logic, logic people, yeah, you will waste or spend the same amount of money, yeah? But if you are not only logical, also math mathematical and analytic person, you can see or you can look for the raw material. And if you spend or if you waste all the raw material, okay, you will um, buy some more yeah but if you don't waste or spend i don't know what is the best term for this como gastar si tú te gastaste toda la materia prima okay yeah you term, can say spend. Uh -huh. uh, okay if you can if you spend all your your uh, raw material okay you you have or you must to buy but if you don't or if you didn't do that why will you spend the same amount of money? Yeah. So you have to be not also logical, not, not mathematical. You have to be obviously an analytic person. Yeah. And you have to do this exercise the time that you want to do. If you can do weekly, okay, monthly, okay. At least you have to, to do this activity month by month, yeah? And uh, there is uh, telling us something important, yeah? At least six months to a, to a year, yeah? And you can uh, forecast what, in, in what months you uh, you were uh, better than other months, yeah? Uh, and for the next year, you have, or, or you can analyze and obviously uh, take a, an action plan in order to, to the months that you were low to increase. Uh, for example, with promotions, with uh, discounts, with... Uh, adding value to your goods or services, yeah, <clears throat> in order to uh, at least uh, go to a mid-term mid point, I think, yeah, to support or to 
yeah, to support at least uh, the minimum incomes that you have to 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 earn in order to to get your business run. Yeah, and I I I like to to speak about this topic because. I I passed for a situation like this. We were so optimistic, yeah, and uh, obviously we had a budget, uh, but the budget uh, just um, support us for at least five months, yeah. And we have fixed costs, Obviously, at least for a year, yeah. So the next, uh, the 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 rest of the year, what we have to do in order to 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 have more incomes or something like this, yeah. And at the end, it was so so difficult because uh, we were uh, run of money, and we have to close the 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 business yeah because we don't have any 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 more money to spend not even the fixes fixed cost yeah and as a fixed cost you can associate the, the local uh, no say the the rent for your local uh, the general services, uh, the people that you have to pay in order to your business is running, and many other things, yeah, that uh, oh, they are not only fixed fixed cost, yeah, uh, the the variable cost, yeah, and it in in I, and I and I want to conclude something. In papers, you can write it down whatever you want, yeah. But in the reality, it's another thing, yeah. And you have to be the enough, um, the enough strong, or so strongly mentally. Obviously, uh, we are talking about money, but. Uh, the mindset is 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 a key for you also because you can be disappointed because you are not earning that you uh, um, whatever amount of money that you um cool thing that you will earn yeah but if your mindset is going okay not so optimistic but but realistic uh, you can uh, overcome the situation yeah in order to not to close the, the business at, at the first month yeah I, I was to conclude that mm -hmm. okay yeah actually uh, it's very true I mean uh, yeah whenever we run a business we have a very good idea and we are very optimistic but real life is hard right and we need to do very good research. So, uh, yes, if you uh, you need to have a budget that is going to support the company for at least six or to one year, and it's not easy. Really. You have to be very negative at this point and try to figure it out what it's going to be like. Uh, also, another thing is to start little, right? Depending on the resources that you have then you have to start the, uh, based on those resources. So, yeah, that happens. That happens and, uh, well, we can learn from uh, experiences. So in the future, if we have another chance, we know what to do. Um, let's see. The next one is going to be for Dora Elizabeth. Extend your budget out into the future also over you to the forest cast. How much money you will be able to save for import things like your vacation and new vehicle, your first home or your home renovation, an emergency 
saving account or your retirement, using a realistic budget to forecast your spending for the year can really help you. With your long-term financial planning, you can then make realistic assumptions about your annual income and expenses and plan for long-term financial goals, like starting your own business, buying an investment or recreation, property or retiring. Okay, what did you get from this? Uh, <clears throat> In this part, uh, subject it is important to uh, make a budget for the future. And for the the determinative goals for uh, renovation, retiring, vacation, you know, only much or traveling maybe. But this, in this case, uh, is must to be realistic, as uh, according to the income and expenses. Okay, yeah, definitely. So it has to be realistic. That is a very hard uh, word. Sometimes uh, we need to do some sacrifices. I mean, we need to stop spending on certain things. Or even worse, we need to sell things so we stay, we stay the same. I mean, uh, large companies they do that one. So, for example, right now, uh, we are Google. We are experiencing uh, low, uh, very, very high downsize. People are getting fired, and it's very hard. But if the company doesn't do that, the company is going to suffer, right? Um, that happens. That's the way it is. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> good perfect thank you let's move on okay this one is going to be for uh, Roxana the third budget refers to an estimation of revenue and expenses over a specific future period of time and is usually com compiled and compiled Compile, thank you. Compile and re-evaluate re on a periodic basis. A budget can be made for any entity that wants to spend money, including governments and businesses, along with people and the house household at any income level. To manage your monthly expenses, prepare your life on predictable events and be able to afford big, big ticket items without going into debt. Bargaining is important, it's important. Keeping track of how much you earn and expense doesn't have to be drawery. Doesn't require you be good at, ma at max and doesn't mean you can buy you can't buy the things you want it just means that you know where your money go and you have greater control over your finance finances finances okay what did you get from this one well, the main idea of the paragraph uh, say that uh, you don't uh, need to uh, have a lot of knowledge about uh, math or different, uh, maybe a specific term about finals, because uh, you can prepare a basic uh, budget, uh, maybe um, if you uh, have the idea what are you what are your um, current expenses you can uh, take notes about that and also you can uh, describe your um, ingresses yes, yes. Income. income income thank you and with um 
with that information it is enough to prepare your project because uh, you have the, the complete idea that 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 things that you currently uh, needed and is um, when you working in a in a um, in a budget it uh, doesn't mean that you don't buy um, things that you want maybe uh, it can help you to uh, identify if you need to save some money for specific things or if you uh, have uh, extra money to spend in another thing but it's important for for people for companies for big businesses for everything it's important because you you can uh, have a little control about your finances okay definitely so yeah uh, this is something i mean you don't need to be an expert in math or in budgeting to create a budget uh, of course sometimes depending on what you're going to do you need some help or you need to research a little bit more about what will be the percentage of the reserve for a company for example but you can start by doing your own budget your personal budget uh, and then you will be able to realize for example you will be able to realize that you are spending money in things that maybe are not necessary right uh, or that you uh, you can decrease the investment or the expenses in certain area uh, i mean it's going to be a better life if we do that one and then if you have a company definitely depending on what you want to do uh, it's going to be a little bit more complex uh, any institution any person can create a budget that is a very good thing about this Okay, next one is going to be for Jarvin. Not possible. Let's see Fernando Ernesto Cosme. Okay. Uh, a budget is an estimation of revenue and expenses over a specified future period of time and is you utilized where the, the the pronunciation you utilized utilized or, yeah okay utilized by governments businesses and individuals and any income level a budget is a is basically a financial plan for a defined peri period normally a year that is known to greatly enhance to success or any financial undertaking. Corporate budgets are essential for opening, operating at peak efficiency. Aside from earmarking resources, a budget can also aid in setting goals, measuring up outcomes, and planning contingencies. Personal budgets are extremely useful in managing and individuals or families finance, finances over both to short and long-term horizon. Hey, what do you get from this one? Uh, basically, it's, uh, uh, the, the expenses and the, the income, a budget, the information, uh, basically is, is, is that. But uh, they describe in this text, uh, 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 the, the budget is for a, a period of time, uh, I, uh, we, I, I think we use uh, in in different cases because uh, for uh, in my in my case, for example, I I w I like to use uh, an application for for managing my finances like uh, an incomes and outcomes every month. Uh, in in when I for example when I see the the application in it is in red that means uh, I. I spend more money than I I and it comes. So uh, uh, it is in 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 maybe in a, a company is is a, a crucial maybe a crucial part of a company the managing of the finances because uh, they 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 work for get more income that expenses but sometimes you have to take the risk uh, 
to maybe an investment or something like that, uh, it's, it's a risk. You, you, that does not ensure you that you will get uh, a revenue for, for that expenses. But uh, uh, the, behind the budget is uh, maybe a, a, a lot of maybe person study the, the, maybe the situation, the, all, all the context about it. That's it. Okay, very good, very good. So yes, uh, it's about all the things that you mentioned, right? Revenue, estimation is a very important word. Uh, it's essential for operating not only a peak efficiency, but I mean, whenever you have some crisis, you need to go and adapt the budget, right? So yeah, it's going to be something essential. And it's a very good thing that you are doing your budget as well, because most of the people here in El Salvador, we don't do that one, right? So if we have the chance, we need to start doing this. Okay, next one is going to be for um, Giselle. Not possible. Okay, let's check then. Anna Claudia, Anna Claudia, I'm sorry. Okay. A budget is a microeconomic concept that shows the trade-off made when one good is exchanged for another. In terms of the bottom line or the end result of this trade-off, uh, surplus? Surplus? Surplus, yeah. Okay, a surplus budget means profits are anticipated. A balanced budget means revenues are expected to equal expenses, and a deficit budget means expenses will exceed revenues. Very good. So, uh, what did you understand on this one? Uh, all we've been uh, reading and looking at the, the budget is the main. It's a main uh, part of anything, not only for the companies, also for our life. Uh, I don't know what's the meaning of surplus. Ah, very good question. Anybody knows what a uh, surplus means? Well, the, the answer it says there means profits are anticipated. I don't know if it's something that... Uh, yeah, it's something like that. A surplus is like the extra money beyond uh, the... Uh... The expenses that you will have so uh, if we yeah. have additional money uh, yeah so it's like uh, i mean that you say this month i'm going to spend a hundred dollars well, in a month i guess it's not possible anymore in a mm. week uh, uh -huh. one hundred dollars uh, in a supermarket mm -hmm. uh, and then you go with the list and at the end of the uh, of the purchasing uh you see that you spend only 90 dollars and you bought everything that you wanted then you have Ten dollars of surplus. Mm, okay, that would be the 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 goal for us, right? To have a surplus budget. Yeah, that would be better. I mean, if, it's better for you to, uh, in my opinion, to uh, be kind of not totally negative, but uh, be ready for different things. Uh, so you spend, uh, be ready to spend more than what you thought, right? Have at least in the budget that that spending and it's better if you don't spend that amount of money you spend less so that is even even better but you need to be ready it's, it's even worse if you say oh i'm not, I, i'm going to spend only a hundred dollars and at the end uh, the cashier says it's 120 dollars oh my goodness so you feel bad right yeah but sometimes happens because maybe you've been looking for something and uh, that had happens to me. I've been looking sometimes for a product that I already is missing in my in my in my ay, oh, dispensa se me olvido. <laughs> dispensa. Uh, my... I don't remember that word by right now, but it's grocery, like well, grocery. Uh -huh, okay. Grocery. Okay. And so and sometimes that product suddenly disappear and. Uh, I'm lacking uh, lacking that uh, product or service, and suddenly you find it, and then uh, you weren't expect to were expected to to purchase. It's not about the value for that day, but if you don't find it next time when you go, I better take it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. So that is it. I mean, you are so right. This is uh, 
something that happens and uh, well this concept is like uh, uh, yeah the profits anticipated the surplus the expenses everything uh, we we definitely need to do something like that every every month at least yeah perfect thank you so the next one is going to be for Jose Osmin. Okay. 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 Add up your total income. This uh, shall include all resor resources such as payment, paycheck, tips, social security, uh, disability, alimony. What is the pronunciation? Alimony. 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 Mm -hmm. Or investment income. Track your spending, spend a month keeping track of everything you spend, whether you pay with a credit card or cash to find your real expenses are, and be sure to include automatic uh, payment, uh, subscription, and utilities. Very good. What do you get from that? Uh, actually, so I, I don't know if I'm sure. So that 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 we have to include uh, every resources or that like for the paycheck. So in order that we can accumulate or like like to save the money, right? So it, it's not like that we have to spend so much money. So it's basically like include like some subscription that will save money. I don't know. So if if I got it correctly. I mean, uh, yeah, what it says that you need to, whenever you are creating a, a budget, you need to think about all the incomes that you are going to have. It doesn't matter what is the source of that money. You need to include that in the budget. So you need to sit down and really, really think about that one. And there are some examples. So paychecks, payments for your services or things like that. Tips, you know what is tips, everybody? Yeah. The one that we yes. get at the restaurant. Very good. So tips, yeah. Depending on the business, yeah, tips are going to be included. Social security, sometimes they, uh, at least in the U.S., in some countries in uh, Europe, sometimes uh, they give you money back uh, about this one. Disability, so if you have some disabilities. Alimony, do you know what is alimony? Yeah, it's like a kind of, uh, for example, when, when a couple got divorced, and uh, the ex-wife uh, or there are children most but mostly it's the ex the other partner will get like a monthly uh, revenue monthly fee mm -hmm. for that divorce that is a limony. okay so that is it uh yeah it's like the food uh, the food money that somebody gives to other person money. That's investment right. uh, investment income anything and also you need to track your spending. You need to check how much are you spending on everything. So if you pay credit card, if you pay in cash, if you uh, pay for uh, facilities, if you pay for insurance, I mean, everything has to be included. So you then realize how much money you need or if you need to um, get rid of cer certain things that maybe you don't need. So that is a very important part. Teacher is like the balance the, the the money so like so for the outcomes that we have like in order to track it. Uh, right? Yeah, that is it. So for example, uh, okay. that you are doing uh, your personal budget, so you say, okay, uh, my salary is this amount of money, and mm -hmm. I have to pay the light, I have to pay the water, I have to pay internet connection, I need clothes, and then you summarize that one, and then you compare, right? Sometimes happens that you need to pay or you need to buy some things, but you don't have enough money and you leave that to the for the next month. Or mm. sometimes you have extra money and then you say, oh, okay, I'm going to do some activities, some fun activities or anything like that. So, or I'm going to save some money. So uh, it's going to be just like that. So yeah, the total incomes and the total spending. Okay, okay got it. I think Ooh. if I live in US, I will add in my 
monthly spends uh, to play lot. <laughs> yeah, to that is a very good chance. I mean, if you get it there, uh, you are. That would be chance. an unexpected income when <laughs> if one day happens. Yeah, you know, it's a pretty good thing. Uh, even though it's very painful to pay taxes there because exactly. you have to pay Exactly. Exactly. But at the end, you are going to have extra money, so it doesn't exactly. matter, right? So, what uh, I think in that way. Mm. <laughs> Here in El Salvador, I guess it's kind of difficult. I don't believe in that one. And even worse, I was reading today that they caught some people that they were selling fraudulent uh, tickets. Oh, for yes. The I saw the news today. Uh, yeah. Uh, some, I guess, two women. Uh -huh, two women. Imagine I don't that. remember the play, but they, they, but they were, they were like kind of old women, right? They are not young. I, I mean, probably they have been in the business for a long time. Exactly. That is what I thought. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. When you mess with institutions like those, I mean, yeah, probably one way or another, you are going to pay the mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> what you have. So. Yeah, it's not a good idea. So here, I don't believe in that one. But yeah, probably then the U.S. I mean, you might to, to earn ten million or a hundred million dollars. I mean, mm -hmm. That is it, right? So very good. Yeah. <laughs> good, perfect. Let's move on. The next one is going to be for Jose Wilfredo. Is it possible for you? Not possible. Uh, then let's check with uh, Francisco Eduardo. Not possible either. Jarvin Isaac. Okay, very well. Could you please help us reading this paragraph? Okay. Do you want to say more? This power thing. Make the most pressing goal. That should stay in Play managing expenses. These are expenses you must must pay each month. Rent, insurance, free taxes. Secure for yourself now. Subtract it from your total income. Okay, what did you get from this? Uh, for, for me, it's not all because difference. The reference is that uh, you uh, um, um, because uh, uh, it's, it's important uh, for is the, the basic the basic uh, I understand uh, that. Uh, is the the set the financial goal is the basis for uh, make a good uh, a good budget uh, for uh, have a, a good uh, um, financial style because it's a, it's a muy, how do you say punto de partida the starting point the starting point okay for sure Okay, very good. So yeah, definitely. So it doesn't matter what you want to do. If you want to save money, if you want to pay debt, if you want to uh, go for travel, uh, if you want to buy a house, uh, yeah, you need to have a budget. Maybe not the money, but just the budget. You need to know how you're going to be paying for that one. So, uh, and that is very interesting what it says that stop overspending so um here in Salvador, i believe that most of the people we spend a lot in many things uh, i include myself in that one sometimes i see two pairs of shoes and i say oh my goodness i'm gonna buy that one so and then i realize i have a lot of shoes so i don't need but 
that happens, right? We have the money. I mean, uh, there at the job, I see, I see that the the payment day. I mean, everybody's eating hamburgers and a lot of food, expensive foods. Uh, I mean, yeah, that is the Salvadorian way. So if we stop overspending, I mean, it doesn't mean that you are not going to live well, that you are not going to eat something very nice sometimes, but um, we need to analyze, right? What we need to do, what you want to do, what you want to achieve and stop overspending, over, over that is a key. That is something very, very important. And that is also for companies, as uh, we were saying before, right? Sometimes large company with huge buildings and the managers, they have fancy cars and travels. Suddenly they say, we don't have more money. So that happens to everybody. Good. Next one says identify that payments. Let's check into that one. This is going to be for, let's see. David. Okay, identify the payments that you're paying off there, such as a student loans or a credit card bill. Find the minimum payment for each day. Subtract that from your income as well. Adduce each month. Each month, look at your spending and goals. Reevaluate and adduce what you're assigned your discretionary spending. A flexible budget will help you Avoid overspending. Good. What do you get from that? Okay. And then I worry because uh, always say I, I read about that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what is happening. <laughs> but, but of course, uh, there are some keys to, to pay a uh, debt. And, and in this case, you need to, to budget. What is your debt if to, to have the idea what you need to pay? But uh, there are some that uh, snowball, snowball that tell you that you start payment the, the, the minor debt and uh, then uh, pay the next one, uh, the, the, the amounts you for the minor debt, you add to the other, and in that way, you go uh, increasing your payment until you go out of debt. And uh, it's something uh, difficult, but we need to take the uh, note about that, and we need to avoid uh, making or, or making the decent and habit to have debt. And obviously, they have a budget. Have a budget to know how we are spending, paying debts, and and uh, giving money to the banks or other that are uh, administrating the, the credit cards. Yeah, definitely. So sometimes, as I was saying before, it's painful, right? So, for example, I uh, I had to. Uh, change and do some some changes in the car uh, and then i have to pay 150 dollars for that one so but if i don't do that one uh, probably if the police stop me and they see those changes they will tell me oh you need to pay a fine or something like that then i, I finished paying my motorbike and i had to pay 50 more dollars and then i have to pay the rent 300 more dollars and so that is not in your budget right so it's like my goodness, I was going to do something else with these $600, but that's what it is, right? So there is no way that you say to the government or to a bank or to a company, I'm sorry, this month I won't be able to pay. So you need to. Uh, so, yeah, you need to be ready for these kind of situations and then just move on. Even when it's kind of painful, yeah, we need to. we need to do what we have to do. Good. So the next one is for Roxana. Make a spending plan. The amount of income you have less left is what you can spend on discretionary expenses. 
This can include your goals, such as debts, payment, or savings. It shall also include things like grocery, entertainment, gas, or surprise expenses. Give every dollar a job based on your goals and what you discover when you track your spending. Okay, in your own words? Uh, well, in general, uh, you, in, I think that the, the, the main idea uh, at the first is um, identify uh, what are your, your expenses and be real, realistic about uh, what are um, maybe um, necessary, needed, mm -hmm. needed, because um, that is like a, maybe like a um, idea about how you can spend in, Different, and your personal stuff, your your credit or your different payments or or your specific needle. And what about that budget you can spend or you can save in? So, but at first uh, you need to identify what do what do you need and what is necessary for you. And in the first uh, step, you need to um, save that money to, to cover your personal stuff. And then you can decide if you can, if you will uh, spend in maybe in saving or another. Okay, so definitely. So track your spends uh, is definitely something very basic right it doesn't matter if you are doing well by now um we're speaking just about personal budgets and personal spenses uh but yeah even for the for the companies definitely that is going to be uh, very very important so it's something that we really need to understand sometimes we don't know we say uh, what happens with money but i mean we we had the money on our hands and we need to know where it goes, right? Good. This one is going to be for Luis Albert. Steve. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay. The process being by establishing assumptions from the upcoming budget period. These assumptions are related to project sales trends cost trends and this overall economic outlook of the market, the industry or sector, a specific factor affecting potential expenses are addressed and monitored. Mm. The budget is published in a in packet that outlines that the, stand, the standards and procedures used to develop it, including the assumption about the market key relationships with vendors that provide discounts and explanation of how certain calculations were made. Okay, what did you get from uh, this part? I don't know if the idea or the main idea is that you look for Try to be economic and don't spend the money in something that you don't need it. Maybe in, in for, for maybe, I don't know if you, <clears throat> if you, if I have my, uh, a budget, I, well, I prefer to buy, if I buy something in, at the supermarket, for example. Uh, I look for uh, promotions, discounts, and compare. Uh, sometimes compare uh, products. Uh, maybe the, the, the difference is sometimes is the size or the, 
the, the weight. Uh, maybe sometimes uh, there are a uh, good promotion. You can buy uh, cereal or sugar or something like that. Um, and in order to, to save, save money, uh, well, I, I when I, I go to the supermarket, I, 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 I do that. Okay. So, yeah, definitely. So, yeah, to, to stretch out the money, sometimes we need to do many things, right? And that happens to the company. Because sometimes um, the owner of the company or the manager of the company, they need to find some gaps to try to find a way so uh, everything works better uh, and it's not easy it's not easy and when when uh -huh. you compare the, uh, a product uh, with other uh, market for example or supermarket sometimes is cheaper one the same product the same way all but sometimes I, I don't know if it may be the provider is different or I don't know, but it's the same problem. But when you buy, uh, for example, cost a uh, uh, two two dollars twenty five cents at the supermarket. When you go uh, to market. You can buy the same product and one dollar uh, sixty sixty seven or yeah. sixty five. Yeah, you are right. That happens a lot, and that is actually a very good example on the, what we need to do. Right, so we need to find the the cheapest provider with the best service. Right. Um, yes. And you are right, sometimes even between supermarkets, um, the prices of the same products are different, right? Uh, sometimes, uh, I mean, we need to figure it out how it's going to be better for us because maybe there are just a few cents, but at the end, I mean, whenever you finish, probably that is going to be a lot of money. So, uh, well, prices are, are high uh, in, in some cases. Um, um, some products maybe is cheaper. Uh, for example, uh, vitamins. Mm -hmm. Some kind of vitamins. Uh, I go. I went out. I went to the Farmacia San Nicolas. Mm -hmm. It's the same product. I I I bought this product. Um, I don't know. Thirteen dollars. Mm -hmm. And when uh, um, when I I went to the supermarket, the same product is eleven eleven dollars. Yeah. And the and the pharmacy they told me that it's cheaper. We have a promotion, but <laughs> when you compare, that is is not true. Yeah, it's like Black Friday. Like they they tell you. <laughs> <laughs> like Black Friday. Yeah, this is a bargain. <laughs> this is two hundred dollars of discount, but you know that is not true. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sometimes uh, I believe that what happens is uh, that they have some different strategies, different providers, as you say. Uh, many yes. things might be happening. So, and yeah, we need to figure it out. Some I, actually, I do that one a lot. I compare prices. Mostly when I'm going to buy something that is big, like a TV or something like that, I I yeah. don't buy that at the very first place that I, I go. I go go and I walk through different uh, malls, uh, stores, and check what would be the best option from for me. GRs, from GRs I go, I, I, I bought a uh, TV. Uh, the cost of TV is, in, is, is not a big is uh, 30, 32 each mm -hmm. and the cost was uh, $2,000 mm -hmm. well $199 mm -hmm. where in the same product uh, I am um, uh, it, it, it's small uh, cement mm -hmm. 
uh, before uh, I go, I went to La Curacao. Uh, what, what else? Uh, Prado. And this, and they, they told me, uh, we, we buy this, this TV. You, you will, uh, receive a for free, uh, this DVD. And the cost is no two thousand dollars. The cost is two two thousand forty forty dollars. Yes, you pay. It's no. It's no free. You pay. For the the DVD, and yeah. you can from compare. I I prefer compare with every small, uh, every a uh, market or supermarket. Maybe the product is this is is the same, the same characteristics, uh, but the, the the price is is different. The price and the quality. Yeah, yeah, that happens. Yeah, you are so right. So. And uh, the strategy, no ways. I, 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 I know that lots of companies they do different things, so they want your money, right? So they uh, use different strategies. But yeah, it's a very good thing that we, we have the chance to go and, and compare. And that is also that whenever we are running a company, uh, we also need to do right. So you go and research for the best provider. Uh, the best price and the best service, the best delivery time, things like that one are very, very important. Okay. And actually, I have a question for everybody now that we're speaking about that one. Uh, which supermarket do you believe have the best prices, the cheapest with a very good quality? What do you think? You know, the vintages, you need to compare the prices uh, between supermarket and supermarket and between days. There are some days that are cheaper and and there are some days that uh, they don't. There are some uh, uh, products that are cheaper in the, in the space of Don Juan, and there are others that are, are cheaper or, or better quality in selectors. That is the majority of uh, super that I, I, I go. Mm -hmm. I don't know how is uh, price or, or uh, Walmart, Walmart is almost the same of the Pesa and one because it's the same enterprise, the same company. Yeah, okay. you know what, what I uh, do sometimes, but I have to purchase in all of them. But depending on the day, as they be said, they be said also depending on the payment method, because beside the uh, discount that a product can have one specific day. If you purchase with this or this other credit card, you have additional discount. So the thing is to manage your budget that you know that if you make this purchase with this credit card for the supermarket, you know that you need to pay up front what you spend. Like if you go and pay uh, with uh, physical money. But also uh, what I've learned in my experience is that because they want you to... Uh, place uh, more orders online and just pick up them the next day. Uh, both all of the, the supermarkets, Walmart, either the Spencer and Juan or Selectos, they have better prices purchasing online. So some before I just got used that the day before going to the supermarket or either the market or uh, I don't know, but here in my, my town, there are a lot of uh, agencias, I don't know how they to name them. Uh, you need to compare and which offers the best price you can purchase. So the night or the day before that I go to make all those purchases, I always double check uh, online stores, online supermarket webs, the, the website, the supermarkets. And believe it or not, there are products that they have uh, like $1 or $1.50 less than if you go to the physical store. It's okay. incredible. I don't, it, it's a good costume they want us to make to use online. I don't know about uh, it. Yeah, it's it's that. Uh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Continue. <laughs> no, no, no. Or, or, or sometimes uh, there are a... Uh, 
low prices uh, when don't when is a uh, uh, it's not a, a, a pay payday mm. when you receive your salary for example every every fixing fixing uh, days uh, at the end of the month uh, there are not a uh, long 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 prices. Okay. But yeah. You, if you have a a, a a credit card, you 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 can buy. Um, it's an opportunity. Yeah, I I I think you can buy a, every every day, and you can uh, uh, you can pay uh, less. Uh, if you maybe there are discount if you pay con with a specific a uh, credit card. <clears throat> Or you receive a discount. Yeah. So there are different uh, strategies for you to go to that store, right? So it's the competition is, is a very good thing because mm. allow us allow us to do that. So and definitely we need to research. I mean, yeah, if you know that this specific day the fruits and vegetables are going to be uh, in offer, I mean you have to take advantage of that one, right? So uh, there are many things and uh, yeah, I, I agree. Uh, sometimes there are some products that are cheaper in this supermarket, these other are cheaper in the other supermarket. Uh, so it's kind of complicated. So depending on what you're buying, uh, that is the supermarket where you go. Besides that one, I also believe that depends on, on the service, the location, what is it? I mean, if this supermarket is closer to your place, and the service is good, I mean, probably that is going to be good because uh, if you spend two more dollars in going to other supermarket, even if you save money, I mean, it's not going to worth it, right? So mm -hmm. um, many things, many things affect, but that is the way that we need to think. And that is the way that we need to also run a, a business. Thinking about those little things sometimes makes a difference. Good, perfect. Let's move on. This one is going to be for Dora Elizabeth. The salary is often the first to be developed and subsequent and as subsequent uh, as subsequent subsequent expense diets cannot be stable with without. Knocking, knowing future cash flow, knowing future cash flows. Bias are developed for all the different societies, division, and department with within an organization. For a manufacturer, separator, a separator budget is often de developed for direct materials, labor, and overhead. All buyers get rolled up into the master budget, which also includes biased financial statement for cuts of cash inflow and outflow, and an overall financial plan. At a corporation, the top management reviews the buyers and submits is for approval to the board of directors. What did you get from this one? Uh, in this case, is this paragraph is about the budget for the companies. We have a, a many departments. In each department have a budget, but uh, there are a, a principal budget. The principal budget summary, uh, all the all the bias of the department uh, is very important. Uh, some, some years ago, I worked in a company how we have a budget, budget for Manufacture, manual for uh, quality, my budget for sales, 
buyer for financial. Uh, each post of department uh, make a, a, a budget. In, in financial uh, summary, all the, all the budgets, and this is, a, this is the, the, the master budget, the presentaba a, a, a I don't know, junta directiva of company, and they approve the, 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 the budget. And finally, each month, have a compare, compare, uh, compare the expenses to the budget, compare. And if is one boss uh, increases the expenses than the budget, the he or she, uh, they have a, a, a explanation for the, the directors. Okay, very good. Very interesting, right? Because you are very right. I mean, uh, whenever we are a part of a large company, uh, yeah, each department is going to create a budget, right? So they know what are the expenses, they know what uh, the investment they need, training, uh, many things. And then uh, the financial department, they are going to put together everything. Of course, they are going to ask questions. I mean, why do you need a, a copy here? Because you have one already. And then you say, no, this is already broken. It's not working. We need something that is more efficient whatsoever. Uh, and then they decide if it's approved or not. And the board of directors as well, at the end, they approve. Um, sometimes they uh, will ask the person in charge of the budget to adjust certain things because they know more or less what will be the limits of the, of the budget. But uh, yeah, that's what happens. I mean, it's not that just one person is going to create the whole budget if it's a large company. Uh, yes, they approve. Yes, they do certain things. Uh, they know that this is the possible or this is possible uh, and they will be able to move on to that one. So that is the way it is. So it's, uh, going, it's going to be a very good thing. Okay. So let me just check. This is going to be for... Um, let's see. Marcus. There are two major types of budgets. Static budgets and flexible budgets. A static budget remains unchanged over the life of budget. Regardless of change that occurs during the budgeting period, all accounts and all figures original culture remain, remain the same. A flexible budget has a relational value to serve the same purpose. The dollar amount is for a flexible budget change based on sales levels, production levels, or other external factors. Both types of budgets are useful for management. A static budget evaluates the effectiveness of the original budget process, while a flexible budget provides different time to the business operation. Hey, what do you get from this? Okay, uh, I understand that uh, there are two types of, of budgets in the town of the around uh, this. So, uh, it's important to, to uh, find those types of budgets because during the period of the of the business, and we can use any of them. Sometimes uh, something appears or happens, so it's important to have a, a flexible budget because we need to say something we don't know in the future. And also, it's important at the same time to have 
like big project, like start with project. So you will think that uh, we can test all that we need or more that we want. Uh, maybe we at, at some point not have money the thing that we really need. So it's important to uh, like establish a static budget so we don't spend more than uh, that we have. And it's important to, to have a flexible budget too. So we know what will happen in the future. Uh, for, uh, very good perfect thank you so yes in general we have two major types of budgets the static budgets and the flexible budget so yes the static as the name says uh you don't you can't change that one i mean it's going to be that the amount of money that you will have provision for this uh period and that's it right on the other hand, of the flexible um, depends depends on uh, the sales levels, the production levels. So sometimes every quarter or even every month, you have more money or less money from the budget. So it it adjusts most likely with a percentage. So the if the sales they increase in fifteen percent, then you will have the next quarter 15 percent of my budget for different things so but it's a very interesting thing depending on the type of business that you have then you are going to choose this kind of budgets for me to be honest with you it's better the flexible but the other one depending uh i mean it can provide incentive for the employees to to achieve certain goals so it's a very good thing good so let's check the next one is going to be for uh, Roxana. Individuals and families can have budgets. So creating a, and using a budget is not just for those who need to closely monitor their cash, their type, their cash flow from month to month because money is tight. Almost everyone can benefit from budget, even people with large paycheck and plenty of money in the bank. Budgeting is a wonderful tool for managing, managing your finances. But many people think it's not for them. Below is a list of budget might the erroneous it's called erroneous erroneous the erroneous logic that stop people from keeping track of their financial and allocating money in the best way. Hey, what do you get from this? Uh, some people uh, think that they don't need to uh, create a budget because uh, maybe they think that it's not necessary. Uh, maybe uh, because they don't have a lot of uh, expenses, I don't know, or, or uh, imagine that it's not um, necessary to have control about your uh, income and expenses, but everyone needs a budget. When you are uh, in a familiar house, maybe with your wife or with your father, and you have a son, or uh, you share your, your, your uh, days with others in your house, you need to create a budget because um, you need to uh, identify what do you uh, need for um, for food, maybe for uh, essential uh, stuff. And it's important 
not only for um, poor people, uh, because everyone needs to create to create a budget and have the idea in and have the idea about uh, what are the um, most um, or the major expenses that they have. So it depends if you have a lot of money or if you have uh, a little, you need to create a budget and have the control or try to, 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 to get the control about your finance. Okay, very good. So definitely, so this is true, right? So um, it's not just for people that we need to stretch the money, right? So it's for everybody, every kind of people, every uh, company has to have a budget. Problem is that we don't know how important is this. I mean, uh, even beyond that people, they don't have a budget, sometimes they are successful, but imagine in my, if companies, if all companies and everybody, we actually do some budgeting, I believe uh, that everybody will be better, right? So that would be fantastic. That would be very good. But um, the best that we can do is to take this from ourselves and do it ourselves. That would be it. So these are uh, here on the paragraph says that there are some myths uh, regarding the budget. So we're going to start reading about those myths. So the first, the first myth is this one. I don't need the budget. This is not for me. Why? I mean, and uh, let's see who's going to read about that one. Um, Juan Miguel Brand. Okay. okay. I don't need to budget. Having a handle on your monthly income and expenses allows you to make sure your hard-earned money, hard-earned money, <clears throat> sorry, hard-earned money is being put to its highest and best purpose. For those who enjoy an income that covers all bills with money left over, a budget can help maximize savings and investment. Investments. If one's monthly expenses typically consume the lion's share of net income, any budget should focus on identifying and classifying all the expenses that occur during the month, quarter, and a year. And for people whose cash flow is tight, it can be crucial for identifying expenses that could be reduced or cut and minimizing any wasteful interest, interest being paid on credit cards or other debt. Good. What do you get from this one? Um, it's really hard because uh, some people they say that yeah, I don't need to budget. Uh, I was one of these people. Yeah, but um. I don't know how to say this phrase in English, but when you go to, when you go deeper on a hole, like tocar fondo or something like this, yeah, uh, you realize uh, that you have to, to budget all the, the new things uh, that you thought that you really need, at the end, you realize that you don't need those things. You want these things, but you don't need it. Yeah. So um, I made an exercise with, uh, with a friend of mine that is an accountant. Yeah. And it, it explained me something. Yeah. Okay, and I will have to to take the pen, yeah, to to draw something there, yeah. Okay, you have this. This is your one hundred percent of your expenses. Sorry, of your incomes, yeah. 
So, you don't have to look this, yeah, in money, yeah. Watch the whole circle talking about percentages, yeah. So, you can realize with more care in what in what fields you are wasting the money what fields you are taking care of your bills what field you can take care about your entertainment or something like this yeah uh, and what percentage of your incomes are your savings yeah when I made this exercise, uh, it took me like this, something like this, yeah? And all of this was precious expenses, yeah? So I have to reorganize my budget, yeah? Uh, take care about some bills that I had to pay, that I had to pay, yeah. Uh, some debts that I had to, to pay, obviously. And at the end, uh, I could pass from the red one to the blue one yeah um, for example those are uh, maybe services yeah things that you need at your home or for tra uh, for uh, commute to their to your work in something like this yeah Another piece of the cake for food, yeah, or for your basic uh, things at your home. Another for uh, some expenses that, okay, they are not need, but they are like uh, uh, having fun or something like this. And another, for savings, yeah? I have to reorganize all my budget. So I don't know why, I don't know how, but I, I passed from the red one to the blue one, yeah? And it took me just half an hour ex exercise, yeah? In order to realize that all the things that I was thinking they are, uh, they were needs, they were not needs. They were things that I want, yeah, and money that I waste, yeah. So, um, I can I can guarantee to you that if you do this exercise, yeah, you can or you could budget your life in a better way. Yeah, don't look for, okay, I have um, $500 at the month. No, please uh, take a look at your budget. Take a look at your incomes in a percentage way. Yeah, uh, and why? I was, uh, oh, I realized that uh, from the 100% percent percentages, uh, I was paying, for example, the ten percent of my income to the internet. Yeah, another ten percent of my income to the cell phone. Yeah, and those were like uh, things that I need. Yeah, but not for the highest price. Yeah, so you can you can do this in order to reorganize your life, but uh, 
for example, if you are here, yeah, if you are in the blue square, yeah, so you identify the, the expenses that you could reduce, and obviously at the end, this. Minimize any wasteful, uh, any dev, any whatever you can do. So uh, for me, it's a good exercise for you to realize if you are wasting your money, if you are maybe not investing, but saving your money, yeah? And how to reorganize your situation, yeah? In order to be, to, to, to be more, I don't know how to say this in English, teacher, más solvente, yeah? Yeah, to have more liquidity. Okay, yeah. Uh huh. And it's really, really important to budget. Whatever you want to do, if you go to, for example, to the to a cinema. Okay, uh, this is for the the tickets. Those for the popcorns and the soda. And okay, after that we will go to eat some whatever. Yeah, but at uh, in, at the minimum thing you will have to budget. Yeah, in order to to don't fuck. Don't lose the focus on the things that matters. Yeah, obviously, you work for a month, for two weeks, or whatever. But the money is hard to earn. Yeah, but it's easy to lose. Yeah. So please budget whatever you want to do in your life. Yeah, for me, it's a really, really important thing that uh, maybe they don't teach in school. Maybe they don't teach us it in the university or whatever, but there is a good exercise in order to know what uh, or where is your money going to. Okay, just... That this is my opinion, teacher. Okay, definitely. Thank you very much. So, uh, yeah, I mean, you are very right, and this is the first myth because, yeah, a lot of people they might say, no, why, why am I going to do that one? I'm, I'm very well things to that one, but we don't know what's going to happen in the future, right? Uh, that's why uh, I guess I told you before that I like to read the news because then you anticipate what is going to happen. So, for example. Uh, this year is going to be a transition for El Nino in uh, the weather. So that means that the next year, no rain. But if there is no rain, the food is going to be very expensive. So we yes. need to be ready for that one. We need to create a budget for the next year. We need to probably buy some things in advance that you can keep, right? Uh, because many things are going to be very, very expensive. Uh, I mean, we are in a crisis already around the world. And with that, it's going to be, the next year, it doesn't seem it's going to be any good or, or better. Maybe we are not going to be in a crisis like Argentina, but yeah, we're going to have a crisis. So uh, yeah, budget, I mean, to be ready for what's going to happen. I believe that this is something not only for money or time, that is the only uh, the other example that we discuss, but for anything, right? For example, when I you am work working, I am working my time, teacher, and it's really, really hard. Yeah, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. that is really hard because yeah, sometimes you want to achieve a lot of things, but sometimes also you need to relax, right? So you need to have time for you, for your family, but also for you. I mean, sometimes we forget that we also are important and we give to the other one which is very important but sometimes we need a little space for us it's like like again with money right you want something very bad i mean yeah you go buy him and buy it if it's not that expensive if it's like a piece of food that you want to eat once in a while that's fine um, but also you can budget many things i mean 
you can forecast what is going to happen, for example, in a relationship. Uh, whenever you want to get married, you get to know the person and you have in your mind a forecast, right? So we're going to be like this and this and this. This person is going to help me doing this, this and these other things. So I believe everything has a budget. Everything has a plan. If you planify everything, definitely everything is going to be much easier uh, for the future. Good. Uh, there, there, there is an, there is another uh, advice for for everyone, everybody, everybody. Yeah, if you don't, no, nah, how to say this? If you can't save your money, uh, mm. for for yourself, yeah, uh, feel free to associate to a I don't know how to say this in English cooperativa mm -hmm. cooperate I don't know how to say this yeah uh, and try to make a, a little save every month yeah uh, we live in a, an economy that is not a uh, suffix suffix is uh is very fluctuant maybe mm -hmm. uh -huh. so uh, today we have a company that is uh, giving us our, our job uh, whatever thing that happens tomorrow they could be in another country and we are or we could be unemployed un unemployed yeah so at least is if you have some savings, at least for the three or four months, if you are lucky, in order to, to get another job, uh, there is uh, there is some kind of yeah saving that could save your life, your uh, maybe your your house, yeah or whatever it's it's really important to save money we don't we don't know when we will need it mm -hmm. very good so yeah i totally agree uh, sometimes it's hard we understand that life in salvador is very expensive and opportunities are very short uh yeah if you have the, the chance to get a second job that is going to help actually for me that is very useful i mean I enjoy giving the class, but of course I, I earn money, so that is very good. Uh, saving money is very important because as you say, I mean, you can get sick. Uh, if you go to East, sometimes they don't help you the way they should. Sometimes, yes, because actually sometimes they do a very good job, but sometimes, I mean, you are trapped and then you need to go outside. So there are certain things that you cannot say no, right? Uh, maybe some things like a trip. Yeah, you can say not this year, but the next year. But your health or an emergency, definitely. So that is something that we really need to consider because it's, I mean, life is full of of many things, right? It's full of challenges. It's full of things that we we don't know. I mean, for example, for the pandemic, the impact was very huge, more for some other people. I mean, some people, they they got some relatives that died. Uh, they lost their jobs. They, um, they had to change many things in their lives. And of course, we weren't ready for that one. It was unexpected, right? So anything can happen. I mean, war is... On, on the air right now and we don't know i mean even if they are far far away definitely economically is going to affect us if that happens so hopefully it doesn't happen but if that happens it's going to affect every single person on the planet so we don't know I mean, we are living difficult times very difficult times so we need to be ready for the worst and expect the best so it's a very good thing. I mean, uh, I really love these classes because of this. We are, 
were able to to sometimes to laugh, to make jokes, sometimes to to think about life, right? To think about many things. Uh, it's very interesting. So it's a, a pleasure to be with you. Sadly, the time is off. So we finish the class of tonight. But of course, tomorrow we will be together again. So before we finish, do you have any questions? No, teacher. Good. May, can you share the, the link for the video that we see at the beginning? Definitely, I can share that one. Okay, let's check the attendance. And uh, the 101 of tonight is going to be for Juan Miguel Brand. Okay. Hey, teacher. Good. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present, teacher. Good. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present, teacher. Good. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Good. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Good. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present, teacher. Good. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia. Present teacher. Good. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present teacher. Good. Jose Marcos Rodriguez Ayala. Present. Good. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present teacher. Good. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Juan Miguel Bran Mejia. I'm here, teacher, present. Good. Luis Albert Steve Bonilla Canales. Present, teacher. Good. Roxana Yvette Asensio de Mejia. Present. Good. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Good. And Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Okay, my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you tonight. I hope you have a very good night. Rest very well. Dream in English and see ya tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Teacher. Hello, how are you? So far, so good. Very good. Thank you. Good to hear that one. How was the storm last Sunday? You didn't get wet? No. He went to my parents' house, but we arrived at home uh, almost like um, 15 minutes before the the storm. Yeah. Very so good. we didn't get wet. And, and it, was, it was kind of lucky because... All the windows at home were open. So we arrive at time to, to close the windows and to, uh, to um, how to say this, recoger la ropa. <laughs> uh, to get the clothes in. Okay, get, get the clothes in, yeah. Pero la ropa, la ropa, so, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, we we didn't get wet, yeah. Very but good. it rained so hard that uh, many trees fell down. Uh, in my in my work at at the office, uh, I work at Marit Maritime Port Authority in San Benito, yeah. But in in the area. There were at least two two trees that fell down, and they broke the posts. I don't know how to say that. what poles. The poles. Okay, the post uh, from the electrical network. Yeah, so we didn't have electricity yes uh, yeah yesterday yeah so we went to home at the noon at noon yeah uh, and but but in the streets uh, 
there were many, many trees that fell down. Yeah, so the traffic jam or the traffic was very high or very, very hard. Yeah. Uh, yesterday at the morning, in the morning, sorry. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, I heard the news, so I was checking. Actually, I was on my way from Santa Ana to San Salvador, and it was crazy. I was not able to see on the highway, but I I did it very well. So it was crazy, so we need to be careful because probably it's going to start raining. So, And, uh, of course, you have uh, experience on this kind of one-on-one. -on -one. So the first question I want to ask you is, how do you feel that you're moving on? Do you feel that you are learning, that you are getting something? Yes, yes, I am learning. Uh, the thing that it's hard to miss, like uh, to learn more vocabulary. Yeah, there are many, many words or many things that I want to say you in, in English, but I can't find the right word. Yeah, so I have to ask uh, for you or to other people how to say this in English. Yeah, but the idea is in my mind, yeah, but maybe one word is not the right one, and I stop there, yeah. Yeah, yeah, a recommendation on that one is that, uh, I mean, for you can say something in many ways. Uh, probably sometimes you're looking for that specific word, but you can use different word uh, that is kind of the same meaning. And also you can look for the words. Every time that you speak, uh, if you don't know a word, or you want to say something, or there is a new word, write it down and then try to use it in your vocabulary, even in your mind, that is going to help you a lot. Okay, okay. thank you. Okay, and do you have any questions or any doubts about anything by now? Mm, no, just about the platform. I am trying to advance. Oh to fill the, the, the platform, uh, but the exercise, the yesterday's exercise, I couldn't complete already, yeah. But the midterm test, yeah, I, I at least, um, yeah, that exercise, I couldn't, be, I couldn't start ready. Uh, yes, this one has a little trick. I was checking with the class uh, earlier today. So uh, the problem is that here, before the question mark, there is a space. Okay, so okay. You need to leave a space that that is a mistake. It shouldn't be like that way. But uh, on all the questions, on all the questions, you need to leave a space before, before the question. The, mm -hmm. Okay. And okay, then okay. it's going to work. And also be careful about the the symbol here, the apostrophe, because there are some other symbols that are uh, very similar, but not the same. So... Uh, that's the only thing. If you do it that way and then you check uh, the grammar that we already checked, everything is going to be well. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thank you. I, I'm, I'm very pleased. And I want you to know that about the, the two classes last week, I think that was Thursday and Friday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I told you because... Uh, that the those were funny, but for me, I I really like. Okay, thank you very much. Sometimes, as I was telling you that day, I guess uh, we uh, try to change things, right? We try to to uh, to uh, I mean, don't do the same things every every class because uh, we learn in different ways. And sometimes, I mean, this is the advanced group, and we need to speak. So sometimes we just need to do that one, and that will be it. So, uh, yeah, sometimes I bring some different activities because of that one. So we change uh, the, the, uh, the same thing that we always do. Uh, the problem is that we are learning English for, for work, right? So we need to keep on track. But whenever I can, it's going to happen different things like that. Okay, teacher. Very good. So it was a pleasure to be with you. I hope you have a very good night and see you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night.